Hello and welcome back to the Blobber Plays. Now, I'm actually going to steal these because I need the men to keep my units, my um, subjects in line. They're starting to get a bit rebellious. So we're going to go up to a bit of a higher force limit. I also noticed that these have a bunch of silly buildings that we can replace with workshops and manufactories and so forth. Uh, you should have that one, but not that one, so you've got room for a manufactory. You should have this one, but not that one, so you've got space for a manufactory. And we probably want to full core this course. Okay, good, 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 good. This one is about to go away in October. Other than that, I want more transport so that we're ready for when we want to go to war with people like the Spice Islands. And I want more of these when I'm allowed so that I can pirate Ming to get my power projection up more. Go do siege his provinces, it makes him love you. Merchant guilds gain loyalty, gain two base tax. You gain control of Arva. Yeah, nah. I reject your petition. And there we go. Rescued our provinces. So I should have done this before clicking the button. Oh well, live and learn. We come back, and I no longer need these forts. Means you should probably have a workshop. spending a single thing other than prestige on you at the moment because I kind of really want that and I really want that doesn't even look like I'm going to be able to afford that on time at the moment come on thank you if another conversion would be so nice as to finish I might go to positive prestige. Close, but no cigar. You need to go sit on Turhut. because you probably unmarried us. Yeah, they always do that. 
Come on, realize that you're loyal. Thank you. No, because I need the mil uh, dip tech more than I need. That. Although I should probably have waited to build these until after the tech level, but maybe I just won't upgrade them. Maybe that's my answer. And if I activate bonus suppression. Good enough. the prestige at the moment. Normally I would be saying base taxes forever, but Yep. No. Why would you do that, Arissa? Prestige. Uh, double the money, please. And I have enough for my claim. I'm prioritizing the ones that are estuaries. to be able to afford this, so it's not too, too terrible. Good, we no longer lose it and we gain it for being on time. We can get our religious Ching. We can activate a policy. More morale. More morale isn't terrible. Yes, that brings them that last little bit into line with being loyal. So that I can probably go do other things with my diplomat. Like getting you loyal and starting the integration of you. And I have a free relationship slot still. Hmm. Oh. Oh my god. When did you do that? You greedy shit. Last I looked, these were both here. Hmm.
Well, it's not like I can reach there yet anyway. So I couldn't have done anything about it. I could have maybe gone here and attacked there. That's about the only thing I could have done. But that province has many more men than this one. Which is actually something we could do. We could send some men over there to be even more Coast Guard. Can't really beat Absolutism. I'm going to trust you to deal with that. easily. I don't. It goes away in six years or something. And I want the admin now, so tough luck. I could ask for a general and maybe throw away one of our existing ones if they're bad. Yeah, like you, you're crap now. This guy is better than you, so we can throw you away. But as for these guys, I've got nothing to do but wait two years. what friends there's no way I'm going to be able to eat all this up considering how much aggressive expansion I already have with Ming how long till our dip rep penalty goes away Four more years. This isn't going to finish in four more years. But there also isn't a, um, a diplomat. So it kind of doesn't matter. you actually fight your bloody rebels? Gosh. It's treason then. Speed up. 
Now what I could do is attack over here. But my aggressive expansion is already mostly too big even without that. That said, could I convince you to become a friend? Or is my trust too low? No, you could conceivably become a friend if you didn't hate Delhi. But you do hate Delhi, so we're boned. What I kind of want to do is eat up this and then that. Hmm. That also lets me break you up from VJ, but I don't really care about that. No, I think my... I think the honest answer is I should go cycle this guy for an aggressive expansion. Go away, guy. Then I need positive prestige, and they only dealt with the rebels after I'd already... Ugh, grumble grumble. So I want this one. So we eat up our Hisenwe, Ayatthaya, and this. be worth me finding out what nodes he collects in. So that I could instead send my guy here to try and enhance my make Ming like us. Yep, that's worth it. This one's also worth it because these guys are quite grumpy with me. And what month of next year? May. So in about February. That is quite a bit of production you have there. Of course it does it exactly as I do that. It's always the way. You fix that. You fix that. fabricating a claim there, then it has to be sandwich way. And then it might be worth doing you or Khmer. Well, there's no point doing Khmer, but it might be worth... No, you're also too grumpy. Jacques and you're too grumpy. 
Gouda. You might not be too grumpy. Hmm. But I could also improve with Delhi, and I haven't done that in a long, long, long time. Seriously? No, that, that actually works quite well. Well done then. Very nearly done. Time for you to stop. <laughs> so I at least want this and those two. I can kind of live with these having one more cycle before I eat him. That's good. That means I get away with not needing to kill you. I can just go chomp and eat. And then next time I can go chomp and eat. Well, actually, I could do both the wars simultaneously. Well, I could do one war, then the other while he's tired. Um, and break up the alliance as part of that. No, I think I'd just do the other and sit on here. Anyway, it's time to call you back. Okay, you get to die. I do not co-belligerent him. Then I attack you. Or, I attack you, but I do co-belligerent him. No, because that brings in Ming. So it has to be, I attack you. Then I attack. No, that doesn't work either. Because then Hisenwe won't be. I attack you. Then I attack Pegu once I'm finished here. That's what we're doing. Mm. time 
Yes, we will improve with you our last time. Smush him good. Leave enough to siege the province. Other than this, we're now beginning to save up for the next dev push in like three years. Orange, if you wanted to help, you could come over here. again. I don't need those points yet. Merchant guilds. Yes. This is bring. So I'm good to wait for you and I don't need those because I'm on time here and I'd rather have happy people that give us more manpower. Now the way that I run just got you happy but I can more afford the oh, either way I lose 15 at least this way I gain 15 but it puts us at risk of if they get another positive event that nasty things will happen whereas this does not <laughs> it's treason then but at least it makes the merchants happier with us so I've got what's next no price meddling is next and it's actually only in a month or a bit so I can afford to go this and steal their money <laughs> so once we get this down, preferably with no reinforcement, we declare our Pegu War. meddling. That's mostly good. And I'm going to want a diplomat free. Okay, so I want to do this right away. at the start of next month, that is. So, I piece you out and I declare. I piece you out for only cash, maybe. I'm assuming you'll still honour because of how much you'll hate me. And if he doesn't, well, tough luck. Now I declare this one. 
he does honor despite him having no money. Which lets us grab these again extremely easily. Because they won't have any garrison. Perfect. Now I can start generating the next set of claims on you. And keep you happy. So this finishes, we laugh, and we come down this way. Orange, would you mind coming over here? Good, we get Sandwich Way. Good. Uh, actually, Orange is getting that, so I'll chase down this. Get ready to piece him out. Uh, how about no? Thank you. Now you can kill that. And he can kill that. So we eat you up. Nom nom. Ming is not allowed to get grumpy. Cancel some cores. Earn some prestige. If that fort was here, I'd be more inclined to say yes, because it would block people exiting. But it isn't, so it doesn't get kept. Now, if I take what I want to take, how pissed is Ming? Not pissed yet. Sounds like VJ and you going to war. No, you and these guys. Are you attaching the tiny attacking the tiny person? No, you're attacking Gooch. Well, good luck, Gooch. That might be my indication that I should wholly war you. And no one would care because you're Shia. Hmm. It would also let me feed Orissa more land, but I don't really want to feed him more land. Unless it's inside. Yeah, that's not in a trade node that I care about. <laughs> oh, but it's definitely time to end the episode. Peace.